is my review of uh, last night's Night Callers Radio, which was great. It was awesome. It was a great show. It was what was described as a meeting of the minds. There were several of us on the line as part of this this large round table. There was uh, Richard Van Dyke, Billy Simmons, Pat Rance, John Alessandro, or D. Alessandro, known as Froggy, uh, Anthony Yawn. <coughs> I may have mentioned myself, I was part of it as well. Um, David Rupert, David Rupert, uh, Ran Trusty, and one other person. I'm probably going to forget, <laughs> I'm probably going to forget a few names. I'm probably going to forget a few names here and there. I got most of them. I got most of them at least. Let's see. I'm looking on the, uh, the website to see that who all was on the show. Um, Rick Skeen. Rick Skeen was the, was the other panelist. Uh, there were nine of us, and that wasn't including the hosts, the four hosts. That being uh, Luke, Laurie, Lauren, and uh, JB. Uh, and we were asked a variety of questions by the four hosts. Well, actually, Lauren didn't ask us any questions, but we were asked questions by Laurie, Luke, and JB. Uh, just really, really good questions. We talked about things like... Uh, um, what sort of uh, predatory habits do they have? Well, not, I don't think we talked about that. Um... Trying to think what all questions there were. Um, the, the 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 final question, which went into archives, was, "What do you think they are?" Uh, one question was, um, "I probably have to go back and listen to it again." Well, we were asked several really great questions. We were asked several great questions. We were also asked questions by people in the chat room. Um, um, Nancy had asked... Uh, oh, well, one of the questions was about uh, whether Sasquatch's eye shine could be bioluminescent. And some of us... A lot of us agreed it could be. Oh, Pat Rance was the other one that was in the... Uh, I may, I may have mentioned Pat Rance was one of the uh, was also one of the panelists, but uh, we were asked about uh, bioluminescence. We were asked about uh, about habitat. Uh, there were just various questions that were asked, and uh, I thought they were tremendous. And uh, I thought, well, not only did Laurie and Luke and JB asked some great questions. There were some great questions from the chat room as well. And uh, we attempted to answer them as best we could. I mean, we're not, we know we know no more than anybody else, but we attempted to answer the questions as best we could. Which is, that's always going to be common when you're, when you're dealing with a subject like Sasquatch or Bigfoot. You're always going to have more questions than answers, really. You'll have more questions than answers, and, uh, And I, I feel that it's important to try and have that open communication, that open those open lines of communication. But it was a great show, and we really enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed doing it myself. It was just a lot of fun. It was fun to be with those guys, you know. And I pointed out near the end of the show that it was just great to get together and all all of us in in one environment not arguing and fussing and fighting and raising our voices or anything like that, but we were having a discussion, which I think there needs to be more of in the Bigfoot community. 
needs to be more discussions going on rather than uh, people tearing each other down. Because basically all we're doing is throwing ideas out there. One, another one of the questions was about aggression. Do we, do we think that there's that they show signs of aggression? I mentioned about the rock throwing incident that happened to me in Ohio last year. Uh, <clears throat> we are also asked when they throw pine cones, is that a sign of aggression? And, and a lot of us said, well, not really. That's probably more of them letting us know, you, hey, we're here, or of being playful. It's something that would be done by the juveniles of, of, of the Sasquatches. Anyway, uh, next week on Night Callers, uh, the, great, the guest will be Craig Jackson. And that will be at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. www.blogtalkradio.com slash nightcallers. Now, tonight on MNBRT Radio, the guest will be uh, Michael L. Johnson. That will start at 9 Eastern, 8 Central. www.blogtalkradio.com slash MNBRT. Uh, and then Bigfoot Truth and Lies for Tuesday. I don't know what we have planned. But it will begin at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. www.blogtalkradio.com slash Bigfoot Truth and Lies. <coughs> um, as far as uh, the, the, the last Bigfoot quest on uh, Blog Talk Radio will be coming up, uh, not tomorrow night, which will be Tuesday, but the Tuesday after which will be January 25th, January 25th. That'll be the final Bigfoot quest on Blog Talk Radio. Then they're going to move, they're going to, they're going to um, pick up stakes and move elsewhere. <coughs> now, and I'd also made some announcements during the show as well. The footage was actually interesting. It was about uh, a fox that actually shot a person. Yes, you heard me right. Um, a hunter had, had had shot or had, had, was it, was hunting a fox, and I guess had probably wounded it, and was attempting to 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 strike it with his with the butt of his rifle. The fox actually managed to get to the trigger on the gun and shot the guy. The guy lived, but but it, it, it was very unusual to hear about that. That was a very unusual thing. Um, as to these as to the two announcements, I made the announcement that uh, the the 2010 Oregon Sasquatch Symposium DVD set is available for pre-order and will be available next month in February of 2011, according to to Toby Johnson. Um, and also that uh, full, you can go to Oregon Sasquatch Symposium dot com for full information on that, and uh, the, uh, full tickets, tickets and um, accommodation arrangements are now available for the Sasquatch Summit, which is coming up in April. It'll be at the Harrison Resort, the Harrison Hot Springs Sport Resort and Spa in Harrison Hot Springs, British Columbia. Uh, the prices the prices for the um, for the summit are about eighty dollars for um, for just regular seating and things like that. Then about a hundred five dollars for for premium seating plus a commemorative poster. And you can also throw in twenty dollars additional for uh, a t-shirt and you can specify what color t-shirt what size t-shirt but uh, th those are just some of the things that are uh, they're becoming available now <clears throat> and then of course the Ohio Bigfoot conference Don's only announced two speakers so far uh, Carl L. Johnson and uh, Dina M. Palazzini and they are from uh, Rhode Island and I think they're going to talk about the Rhode Island Sasquatch or Ro Big Roadies what they call it in Rhode Island they call it Big Roadie um, 
So that will be at the Ohio Bigfoot Conference this year, and I think there's going to be at least probably two more speakers announced. Uh, Don has announced in his newsletter that three if it, three people have accepted. Of course, two of them we already know. But there's supposed to be a third that's also going to accept. So we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, where all this is concerned. As far as the Ohio Bigfoot Conference, uh, we already know that the Oregon Sasquatch Symposium is really taking shape, as is the Sasquatch Summit. One more thing. Announcement. Darren Richardson and his girlfriend Erica Cronenberg welcomed a beautiful baby girl into the world last, I guess it was Monday. <clears throat> Their baby girl is named uh, Elizabeth Ray, and she is a cutie. And uh, Darren, if you see this, congratulations, and, 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 and pass my congratulations on to Erica as well. Um, I, I probably, you probably saw Darren on, on Facebook, one of the comments I left about uh, that my sister was also born with a full head of dark hair. She was. She, my, my sister was born with a full head of dark hair, so those pictures kind of reminded me of when my sister was born. <coughs> My sister was born with a full head, full head of dark hair. My mother told me, Darren, that uh, it reminded her of she thought she, she thought my sister was a little Mexican, because she had such dark hair. It was so funny when she she told me that just the other day, because I mentioned about your daughter. Um, I, I told her about 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 Elizabeth Ray, and how she has the dark hair, the real dark hair. So, um, anyway, Darren, congratulations, bro. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in June for the Oregon Sasquatch Symposium. Uh, but anyway, folks, that's it from this end. For all the Blog Talk Radio shows, as always, we do encourage you to please tune in and support great research.